This is a compilation of 10 popular open problems in number theory. There's probably no other field of mathematics where so many problems exist which are generally accessible. Problems discussed here were famous. Four of them are by Landau. A number is called perfect if it's the sum of its proper factors. All known perfect numbers are even. The question is, is there an odd one? Probably the oldest problem in math. Here's a list of all known perfect numbers. Six is perfect because one plus two plus three is six. And these are all, all these known perfect numbers are even. Landau's problem is, are there infinitely many primes of the form n squared plus one? In other words, is p minus one a square for infinitely many primes? There's strong statistical evidence Hardy and Little would predict exactly how many there are asymptotically. I compute this since you know, almost six years and I'm reaching now primes n squared plus one of the size 10 to the 26. And uh, you see how close we are to this predicted Hardy Little would constant. The Goldbach conjecture asks whether every even number larger than two is a sum of two primes. It's a famous problem. Here we see the Goldbach comet, the graph of the function which tells in how many ways an even number can be written as a sum of two primes. Heuristic considerations give a lower bound, like n over log n squared, assuming that the primes would be completely random. The twin prime conjecture, also very famous part of the Landau problems, are there infinitely many prime twins. It's a problem which also has strong statistical evidence the density of the twin primes has been predicted also by Hardy and Littlewood. Also theoretical results have come closer and closer to this. The Riemann hypothesis is one of the millennium problems. It asks whether the roots of a particular complex function, the zeta function, are all on the critical line real part is equal to one half. Here we see this the graph of a related function, so the poles uh, are the roots, they are all on a line placed in, in Google Earth in 2013 and just flew it again in the new Google Earth 2022. <clears throat> so on the right hand side we see the critical strip and we see that uh, quite many roots between 80 and 100, they are all located on this uh, critical strip. It's also a one million dollar problem and probably the most important open problem in mathematics. The ABC conjecture is relatively young, a little bit more than 35 years old. It would have profound implications in number theory. The radical of a number is the product of the primes which occur in the prime factorization without counting primes many times. For example, the radical of 12 is 2 times 3. The question is if you have a, a, a b c such that a plus b is equal to c and then uh, the question is how can you relate c with a radical of a b c it's a problem with disputed proof became you know news over the years the beale conjecture deals with the diophantine equation similarly than the fermat last theorem equation and uh, it asks that x to the p plus y to the q is equal to z to the r has no solution, primitive integer solution. It makes sense uh, from probabilistic considerations. If 1 over p plus 1 over q plus 1 over r is smaller than 1, then there are only finitely many solutions. This has been proven. And uh, uh, the banker Andrew Beale has given $1 million for uh, this solution of this uh, problem. The Beale Prize is pulled by the AMS. One million dollars. The Legendre conjecture is also one of the Landau problems. Four Landau problems asks whether there is a prime between any two adjacent squares. Beautiful problem uh, by Legendre. We don't have a picture of Legendre, only a caricature of Adrien Marie Legendre. We see here the Legendre comet, which tells how many uh, primes there are between adjacent squares. They are related 
conjectures, Bertrand's uh, conjecture has been proven a long time ago, between, between n, 2n, there are always primes. The Collard's conjecture deals with the Euler map, which divides the number by 2 if it's even, and uh, multiplies by 3, adds 1 if it's odd, and the question is whether everything is attracted by 1, 4, 2, 1. <clears throat> so here we see an example with 12, start with 12, you divide by 2, until you reach 3, then you multiply by 3 plus 1, you get 10, and so on, until you reach the attractor. So you see also Lothar Kollatz, a German mathematician, and Stan Ulam, who uh, made this problem popular in the West. Finally, the problem of perfect Euler breaks. Are there integers a, b, c, such as a squared plus b squared, b squared plus c squared, a squared plus c squared, and a squared plus b squared plus c squared are all squares. This is a geometric problem and asks whether there is a brick, a cuboid, such that sides and the side diagonals and also the space diagonals are all integers. So this is a, a list which I already compiled in 2021. There Andre Carr and the Gilbarth conjectures were still there. I swapped it with the Euler bricks and the Ulam problem as they appear to be more popular. So this is my currently top 10 open problem list in number theory.